Hello everyone and welcome to another Farming with Steve video. I am Steve and in today's video we're going to be comparing the baling and wrapping speed between the fast bale from Vicon and a normal uh, baler and silage wrapping combo. If you've been uh, watching the time lapse series that I'm doing on this map, uh, you'll have noticed that I've done fast baling on this field, um, but I couldn't help thinking to myself that it was taking far too long, so I was like, what is quicker? So here we are, we're going to have a look. I'm going to save the game right here so that we can go back um, and do the exact same swaths with the fast baler when we get to it. Uh, we're going to time lapse this a little bit, speed things up, we're going to get through, we're not going to make this video for too long because uh, we can't sit around waiting for uh, the field to be done in real time. So we're going to speed things up and I'll see you when we get to the end of the bailing session. So that didn't take too long. That was about 11 minutes if I uh, calculated that correctly. Um, very painless uh, job using the square baler. It does about 10, 11 miles an hour. So uh, it gets through the field quite quick. You can see there's not a huge amount of bales there because uh, the bale size on this is uh, a lot more than you get in the fast bale. We're going to switch now over to the uh, bale wrapper. Uh, which is up here uh, just on the left side of the uh, the fast bale we're going to take that down into the field and we'll get everything wrapped up but again like i said this takes a little while so just going to speed things up and uh, i'll see you once this is done Just coming now to the end of the wrapping. There's this last bale to uh, drop to the ground. And uh, I add that to be about 10 minutes and 15 seconds all together, which gives us a grand total for uh, wrapping and baling separately at 21 minutes and 40 seconds. That's how long it took to uh, bale the grass and wrap it separately. It's 21 minutes and 40. So, uh, it's uh, quite a quick time, it doesn't take far too long with this uh, setup. But let's see how we do with the other uh, baler to fast baler. Is it fast? Well, it's not as fast as you think it is. It only travels at three or four miles an hour, depending on the size of the sloth. So let's give it a go. So the awesome thing about the fast baler is that it is a non-stop baler. You don't have to stop whatsoever. It will pick up the grass, it will wrap it into a bale, and drop it out of the back one after the other you don't have to stop but like i said the downside is it is very slow we're only doing five miles per hour right now which is very very slow compared to the 10 miles per hour that we were getting with the case square baler so we're going to speed things up we'll get to the end and we'll find out just how quickly this or how slowly this uh, baler is compared to the conventional wrapping method
Okay, so that's us now just reaching the end. That seemed to take quite a while. But uh, as we get to the end now, the time on this is 21 minutes, which is just shy of the, uh, the time it takes to do it using a separate baler and wrapper. So is it worth it? I think it might be. This baler costs uh, less than it would to purchase the Case IH baler, for example, and a wrapper separately. You could, of course, get another uh, baler which is cheaper and wrap it separately, and you would save yourself some money. But, you know, for one piece of equipment, just to put out all of these bales in exactly the same amount of time as it did to do with the other equipment we had, that's actually not too bad. It's quite boring. I'll, I'll give you that. It's very boring just driving at four or five miles per hour. But uh, it's a cool piece of equipment, and uh, I definitely suggest you give it a try sometime. Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.